Welcome to task three. There was a lot of problem there getting off because the wind was off to the left considerably. And people couldn't get in the air. And in the wind, I forgot to turn on the camera so I missed it. Take off. It's quite difficult now. I'm going to go out to the bottom ridge. I can see, uh, I think it's Gordon thermaling above it. Or somebody. Difficult conditions. But we're flying, and I need to concentrate now so I don't go down. So, welcome to task three. Forecast to be a really good day. But right now it's difficult. They've set a hundred kilometre task to the northeast. And it's currently 15 minutes until the first start. There are three start gates. And uh, yeah, it, we're not rocketing up, definitely not. Today's race is 103 kilometres from a start circle near the takeoff, going northeast until we get to a town called Lasso, and then east northeast till uh, an airfield near a, a village called Alp. Uh, it's 103 kilometres in total. So it starts off. Uh, we have our takeoff here. This is the main ridge that we fly on, and we have to fly out from the ridge a little way to hit this start circle. And then we go to the northeast. Here we're going across a valley. This is called the Tremp Valley. Uh, so there's a question here whether we'll try and go straight across. It's a long way. Or whether we try and go around the edges uh, to the east and then north along here, which may be faster. Uh, then we get to Abella de la Conca. This is where we've got like shark's tooth rocks just here. And this ridge here is very big works really well no bottom landings or, or, or no bottom landings that you would want to land in along here uh, but uh, as long as you're above the top it generally works and then we keep going to the northeast just here uh, is another takeoff uh, near a town called Organia and this is where the paragliders practice their SIV they uh, they take off there it's generally very good thermals they thermal up and then they do their aerobatics down and then back up again uh, it's a well-known place for paragliders and we keep going northeast here to Lasso and then this section here you'll see it's very steep sided narrow valleys uh, and in fact there's no landings here for around about 18 kilometers so it's a question of getting high in the hills here uh, and so that you don't land <laughs> And so I think when you probably get around here, there's there's landings that you can get to. Uh, and finally, the airfield here at Alp. Uh, we can't land at the airfield, but the goal field is in that area. So that's 103 kilometres, and that is today's task. Okay, so we're heading towards the start.
That's it, got the start. Back to the cliffs now. Here you can see I've taken the start. I've gone from here into the orange circle and now headed over the back here. Uh, there are several other gliders ahead of me. There's some to the north here and some to the east here. And here I'm just climbing, ready to head out over the Tremp Valley in this direction. So I'm now gliding with not the lead gaggle, but a, a gaggle behind. And uh, next turn point is way over that way, quite a long way. We've got to get all the way across that valley. There's a guy below me called Primoz, one of the best pilots in the world. So if I can stick with him, I'll be good. Let's <laughs> see how far I can stick with them though. It's a long way to climb. The gaggle gives you the most chance of getting up. And I'm at 7,300 feet at the moment. So let's see how we go. So I'm filming with some of the best pilots in the world here. <laughs> this is amazing. Going up at 600 feet a minute. I have to drive in the second row because we're like doing it now and we're off. Here we go, here we go. I pointed out to and if I can get up here it will be amazing, the next bit will be amazing, just need to not lose it here and get up and then it will all go be good, at least a little while, really fantastic ridge run coming up.
don't need to spend that extra time climbing. I just want to get over the top of it and then I'll go for it. by people here so best not stop. And 
do their stopping as well, so that makes it all right. Over 8,000 feet now. Time to go on the glide. Need to get close to Barbies. Here we go. So if we go to the map now, you can see that I have just come from the ridge at the bottom left of the screen, uh, roughly following the red track, and I'm now in a thermal uh, just going up. Heading towards Organia, so I've gone over the back of the ridge that you just saw me on uh, and then in a second here we'll just zoom out and you can see where we're heading to for the next turn point at Sioux. Moving on, we flew straight over the top of the Organia ridge and over a plateau behind it uh, where it's full of trees but we found a thermal at the far end and then you'll notice there's a group of us very much to the left of the track uh, where we're staying on the high ground to try and get more rising air and thermals and then you'll see that I come to uh, a big ridge here uh, where I get low on some rocks and start climbing up which is where we'll rejoin the flight. This is what it looks like when six and a half thousand feet feels low! <laughs> But I'm going up at least. See if I can keep it that way. Woohoo! I've had some long glides on this flight. I've been concentrating hard, so I've not had you on as much as I would normally. But uh, yeah, going up again all right now. After being low on those rocks just now get up and then I found it was really rough and then I found a bit of a thermal that works. Finally! <laughs> Here we go again! Nearly 9,000 feet up. Doesn't feel that high does it? Because uh, these mountains are really big here. Off to the next turn point. Six kilometres. Here I am leaving the hills for the turn point around that green circle. And then after the green circle, I'm going deep into the mountains because then there's an 18 kilometre patch that you can see here where there's no landings. So I need to be as high as possible in the mountains at that point. So I have just taken the turn point, the only turn point in the course. And now I'm climbing up the big mountains. Just following a bird right now. Hoping it's going to show me a good thermal. I was in one, I've left the thermal for where the bird's going. That didn't work very well. Let's get tucked in tighter. A bit better. Could do with it climbing faster though. Top of these big mountains, so that's where I want to get to. That's where it's going to work better. I'll just 
just need to get the height to be able to glide further in. a good idea to say please you see Here I am right up in the mountains with absolutely no idea that I'm uh, near the lead actually, doing really well in that thermal uh, not far from the goal. So I currently need about 40 to one glide angle to get to go. And I'm wondering whether to go for it and bank on getting more lift. Clouds on route. However, I'm not sure if this thermal's finished yet or if I just lost the best bit. And meanwhile, look at that flipping view! You don't see that every day.
11 to 1 uh, sorry, 11 to 1 5 to 1 5. There are some clouds on the roof. What I'm planning on doing is flying underneath those clouds. See if I can get enough of a good line or enough lift on the roof to get me into goal. I'm probably going to need to fly over the next cloud just to get me over the next bridge. Uh, I'm, I'm not making it at the moment, but if I can get to this next bridge and fly, then I'll be a go. So we'll see what happens, eh? So I've got to that ridge, I should now be high enough to go to go. However, there is a mountain in the way, so I need to get high enough to get over the top of it, so I don't have to go around it. Can maybe high enough now, let's have a go. Let's have a go. If I get more lift on the way in, then it's even better. And that's what seems to be happening right now. <laughs> so, how did you do today, Mike? We did good, Darren. How you, you and me did good. How, did, how, how far did you get? Very far. Very to, far. To goal. To we goal. Got to yes, go. we got to goal. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Yes. So after yesterday's terrible effort today, put it behind us. I don't know. Speak for yourself. No, for me. For me. <laughs> after my terrible effort yesterday, I put it behind me. Mike's just maintaining his good gliding streak. And we've both got to go. And unless somebody uh, does the second start and comes in faster... Unlikely Mike... now, we'd be here half an hour. What are you? I was third. Mike was overall. third in the rigid wing class, and I was third in the uh, flex wing class. Yes! <laughs> uh, and we were roommates in Macedonia, so today is roommate, roommate day. day. Roommate day. Roommate day. <laughs>